everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, we're back again doing another tutorial and today we're going to be doing this house you see right behind me, the ultimate Minecraft survival starter base. Now this base has everything you need to survive in Minecraft and I'm going to show you how to build it block for block right now. And here we go with the block palette. So the only thing you're going to be needing is oak and spruce. A couple little things along the way, but it's all very basic starter worthy materials. And here we go with the dimensions. Everything's all laid out in wool. Wherever you see a log, we're going to pop a log from there. And then there's a three spacer in between each log. Very simple. So the first thing we're going to do, let's start here in this corner. We're going to bring up our oak log and let's go right here up by one, two, three, four, five. Up by five right here. Give it a space of one, two, and three. Up by five again. A little space of three right here. Up by five right on this end. Let's go back this direction and let's go from here. One, two, and three. Up by five. Another three, another up by five, another three, and again, up by five. We're bringing this over to this side, another three, match that by five, another three, and then up by five. Let's turn this corner, we're going one, two, and three, up by five again, another three spacer, and again, up by five. So this is the main area in this side. Now we're gonna go on this corner right from here, we're gonna give it a space of one, two, and three. This is also up by five, space of three over here, up by five, space of three, again, up by five, <laughs> space of three, up by five again, and another space of three, and up by five. So right now, this is what we're looking at. Now next up, we're gonna come back down here. From this end, we're gonna give it a space of one, two, and three. We're just gonna put up by one right there, and another space of three, up by one right there. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is let's grab some oak stairs. I'm gonna go right on the edge here and take this down, give it a simple step pattern going all the way to the bottom, and we're gonna meet up right over here. Perfect, let's get rid of the ones underneath and then bring these all the way down like so. Then the next thing we're gonna do is let's do some cross beams up here. So I'm gonna cross beam everything on the top, connecting every log together, just like so. And then we're also gonna connect them in the middle this way, cross beaming from this end to this end from this end to that end, and then keep going with the cross beams. This is gonna give you some details that you could do from underneath and also give you a nice foundation going all the way around. Then over here, we're gonna do the same thing, bring this right down the middle, just like so. Over here, we're gonna do the same thing, so cross beam everything going all the way down, connect every log to the other log, and then we're also gonna do a little bit uh, right up the middle, cross beam right here, and then do another one right up the middle and connect to this side. Now from here, we're gonna grab some oak slabs and just fill in these gaps in the middle. And it should look like this, but we're gonna leave these gaps open. We're gonna be putting grass on that. So pretty much we're gonna leave these three open and then this one here in the corner and just fill it all in with grass for right now. All right, next up, I'm gonna give this a little bit of a railing over here. So this is what I'm gonna do. Let's place some uh, just placeholder blocks here for now, going up like so, just placeholders. Let's get rid of these. I wanna put this log right underneath here, covering up the stairs itself. We're gonna get rid of that, so it should look like this. And then we're gonna grab some spruce slabs and take these all the way up like so, and then go underneath and cover these bits up just like that, giving us a nice railing. Then let's come up here. I'm gonna lift this up here. Let's lift these up one on this corner. I'm gonna grab some of our fences and let's put those on the edges and then let's grab some gates and I'm gonna put the gates in between just like so. Then next up, I wanna give this almost like a little bit of a secure entrance here. So let's put a slab up top right here. I'm gonna grab our fences on the side, put them on the side like this, put the gates in between just like so. Then next thing we're gonna do, let's put this fence gate combo all the way around down below. Let's go right here and we're gonna just swing this around. Now we got it all the way around, but we're also gonna put it on this side. So let's put our fences going down like this, separating this section with that section over there. Gates all the way around like so. This one, we're also gonna be doing it on this side. Now for this side, it's gonna be a little bit different because uh, we have our stair in the way. So what I wanna do here, I wanna grab our trap doors and I'm gonna just cover this whole area up from top to bottom and it's gonna look good from both sides here. And then on this end, we're also gonna do it over here. So let's cover this part up and it should look like this from this side and then from this side, you see that cover up job right there with our trap doors. The next thing we wanna do is we're gonna grab our cobblestone walls. We're gonna go every other one underneath and then we're gonna drop our gates in between. Then we're gonna grab some lanterns and put these underneath the cobble walls. And now we're gonna repeat this all the way around. Now that we have that in place all the way around, let's light up the center over here. I'm just gonna put a light right in the middle and another one in the middle on this side. 
gonna cross to this end and we're just gonna put one in the middle here another thing we're gonna do underneath here is cover up every single spot that you see dirt we're gonna cover that up with our spruce trap door it could be any trap door but i'm just gonna go with the spruce one you're gonna see why in a second we're gonna add some water in the center of these so we can get all of the crops hydrated so let's cover up all of these really quickly then coming back up to the top, we're gonna add some slabs here on the top of all of these uh, log pieces here. We're also gonna expand this and add more logs on top, going all the way around here, adding some slabs on top of these, and then doing our fence, fence gate trick, going all the way around, fences in the corners and the gates in between. So we're gonna go down this way and we're gonna start lifting up the main structure here in a second, but let's add our gates going around like so. Now let's start lifting up this house. So I'm gonna start right in this corner here and we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, and five. Give it a space of three. One, two, three, four, and five. Give it another space of three, going up this way. And we're pretty much gonna go up by five and everywhere we see uh, these corner log bits that we haven't touched yet. So going all the way up by five. Let's go up by five over here, up by five on this corner. We're gonna do this one in this end and then these final two over here, up by five all the way around. Then next up, let's cross beam everything we see on the top over here, going all the way around. Now, once we have the cross beams in place, we're gonna come over here and work on the inside part. So really simply here, we're just gonna go all the way around with spruce. So we're gonna go all the way up, swing this around, give this a small too high window. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna come back this way, and keep going all the way around, swing around this way. Two high windows all the way around like so. Except for this one, we're gonna leave this part open right here. Then we're gonna bring this around. Make another two high window. We're gonna bring this up. This is gonna be our front door area right here. So we're gonna take this all the way down like so and put an upside down stair in this spot. And then over here, we're gonna leave this one open. I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice little fireplace on this end. Now to make this look a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna come in here and grab some of our strip spruce log and I'm gonna just add randomly scattered all the way around here, just in certain spots to make it look a little textured and make it look a little bit more nicer. Let's do this really quick. And there you go, we got our texturing done. Now let's go ahead and just add regular clear glass. You can add any kind of glass. It doesn't have to be this specific one. It could be any color. I'm just gonna go with the clear one. Now that the windows are in place, let's work on the roof. I'm gonna go with an outer border of spruce and the inside of the roof is gonna be out of oak. But for right now, let's start right here in this corner and bring our spruce out, at least overhanging one over. Take it down this way and overhang that bit one over. We're gonna come back this direction. Let's overhang this as well, right over here. And then let's take this down. Once we get to here, this is one. So two, three, four, right on this bit, on the fifth, we're gonna put our stair and turn it sideways. I'm gonna put an upside down stair right there. And let's go up with a simple step pattern going up till we get to the center, which should be right in front of that window, upside down, and then a slab on top right here. And then let's bring this back down and it's gonna connect right back to this side. We're gonna put another upside down like we did on this end. And then let's put another stair facing this direction, just like we did over here. Then let's come back over here and go with another upside down right there. And then our simple step pattern one more time over here till we get to this center bit, upside down stair over here. Let's grab our slab, put that in the center, and then let's come right back down this direction till we get right here, put an upside down stair just like we did there, connecting to this log. And then over here, we're gonna go really simple. I'm gonna put a stair just like so this direction, and then let's take this all the way down, and then this is gonna overhang this bit. Then again, same thing, upside down stairs on these corners, and then go with a simple step pattern till we get over to the center, which should be right here, upside down stair on this end, and then a slab in the center. Let's come back over here and finish this part up. We're gonna go with two upside downs and then simple step till we get to the center again. Once we get to the middle, we're gonna go again with an upside down stair and a slab in the center. Now, really super simple. The only thing we're gonna do now is just connect these stairs, these oak stairs from one side to the next and it should be super simple. It should line up perfectly to all of these stairs that we already have in place. And it's just gonna connect all the way around. So let's just do this one really quickly. And there we go, we got our stairs in place and it looks like this right now. Now the next thing we're gonna do is just cover up these little gaps in between here. Really super simple for this one. I'm just gonna grab our uh, regular oak plank and just go down right here in the center and it should look like this. 
Let's also grab our trap doors and give it a little bit of a lining right on the top there to give you that cool separation. Let's do it again over here. So just oak going all the way down and then our trap doors in this little gap right there. Come back this direction. Let's go again all the way down and the trap doors in the little gap right there. Then next thing, I want to go ahead and detail this part. So for this end, this is what we're going to do. Let's cover up this part first, which is right here, just with our oak right on this end. Now let's leave this part open for now, but we're also going to cover up this part with our oak. So it should look like this from this side. We can also put our little trapdoor lining on that side. Now for right here, we're going to grab some of our spruce stairs. Let's go upside down on the corner bits going all the way around like this. And then let's grab our trap doors and put those in those gaps right there. So we have ourselves a little bit of a patio area, but right here, we're going to also cover this part up so we don't fall down. Now for additional details, we're going to grab our slabs and let's go right underneath here. We're going to go every other one going down like so, coming back this direction, just like this. And then in between, we're going to grab our trap doors and just put those trap doors in the gaps just like that. Let's also repeat it over here on this side. So uh, slabs, every other one going all the way down, then trap doors in the gaps just like so. Also on this end, so one on this corner, and then we're gonna go back here, one, two, and three, and then trap doors in the gaps, just to give a little bit more detail to the roof. One more little bit, we're gonna grab our uh, fences again and our gates and connect this corner so it looks pretty nice. Now the next bit of detail I wanna add is an overhang to this end. So we're gonna grab campfire blocks and let's go right from this edge. We're gonna go one, two, and three, and take this all the way down and we're gonna leave it right up until the end. We're gonna stop right here, leaving that one block gap space here and a one block gap space here. Now, once that's extinguished, let's grab our trap doors and let's go all the way down this line and then come right back down this direction and we have ourselves a cool overhang. But you know what? Let's get rid of these two right here, these two slabs. Let's grab our walls. Let's go right on the top here and then let's go ahead and take these all the way up to the top. And then in between, let's grab the gates that we have right here and let's just connect those bits right there. That looks really awesome. And let's also do it over here. So we can go one, two and get rid of that and let's put that in the corner. And let's also do it on this side. So one, two, and then get rid of that, put that in the corner. Next up, let's go ahead and cover this wall up with cobble for right now, all the way from top to bottom. Let's get rid of these two bits and let's start counting blocks. So from here is a one, two, three, four, five, six. And then from six, we're gonna break the back one here, break this bit, and let's take this up another one, two, three, four, five. So technically above this slab, it is another block above, a block and a half from that slab. I'm gonna put a step right here on this side. I'm gonna put a campfire on top and then we're gonna surround this in our trap doors. Then on top, we're gonna to put a cobble wall and our fireplace is done. Then from the bottom, we could decorate it a little bit. We can go ahead and maybe put another full block here. I'm gonna put a step on one side and a step on the other just to dress that up. And you can also texture this a little bit if you wanna make it look a little bit more unique by adding just a little bit of uh, regular stone around like so. And if you want, you can add some to the top just a little bit like that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some crops to this area. So really super simple, let's break the middle block all the way around like so. And then we can add water to these right here. And then we can use a slab and waterlog that by just placing it on the top. And then we can make this into farmland and add some crops. Now that we have the crops in place, I went ahead and I put it over here. We got beetroots, we got carrots, we got potatoes, we got a little bit of wheat on that side. Over here, just to give a little bit more life to the area, we can grab some barrels and we can just go ahead and put some composters as well. Just maybe stack them up on the side. Maybe even add chests for extra storage, make a little bit more randomized, something like this. A composter maybe on each side. One of these could have like a little bit of a lid on top and then the other one we could play around and maybe put like a little bit of a bush on top and it looks like a planter box. Something like that would look pretty cool. Uh, also, we can add some more lighting and maybe even a flower pot with a flower on top like so. And then we can add more lighting up here so no mobs would spawn. You can put it on pretty much every single one of the corner bits here, but it's really up to you guys if you wanna go ahead and just spam all this all the way around. Uh, for me, I like randomizing it and just putting a couple every once in a while uh, like so. That looks pretty cool. Maybe one more here. Yeah, nice. Uh, over here, we can also put one so we don't have any lights coming up this direction. And then maybe one more like that, randomized. 
We're also going to go down here and do the same thing. Now, down here, we're going to have a big uh, crop field just for wheat. On this side, we're going to put nothing but animals. So we could separate these as well if you wanted to maybe uh, have one specific animal or another. If you wanted to have just one big pen, just leave it open like this. If you wanted to have it separated, we can go ahead and put uh, maybe something really super simple like this. Cover these up on the side. Maybe even put a slab on top of these. Uh, and then just fence gate in between so you can have one type of animal here another type of animal over here Just make sure your, your gates are always closed so they don't mix and you can do something like that So really quick Let me add all of our crops here and our animals on this side all right, and there it is. We got our cows on this side. We got sheep over here. Added a couple extra bits of lighting. Over here on this side, we have a little area for just storage. So we get extra barrels on the top, a couple barrels on this side, and some chests. You can even access it from this end if you just wanted to lower uh, the trap doors, which is really cool. All right, now it's time for the interior. So for step number one, I'm going to cover up this roof. I'm going to grab some spruce slabs and go down this line like so. Let's go back down this direction like this, and then I'm gonna add trap doors in the gaps. Now, if you don't want anything to spawn over here, just put a, a torch or, or something up here and it should be fine, but I am gonna cover this up, or you can even maybe have a way up here and have like a little attic space. It's all up to you guys. For me though, I'm just covering it up so we have a nice ceiling to look at right here. Now, the next thing I wanna do, I wanna actually do a little bit of a wall divider over here to separate uh, the front entrance with the bedroom. They're gonna put a small bed right here on this corner. So for this, I'm just gonna grab some of our trap doors. Let's go one and two, one and two, and then I'm gonna grab the oak one right here, and I'm gonna grab oak again. I'm gonna cover this up and lift. So this part has the spruce, and then this part has the oak, which looks pretty cool. Then over here, I'm gonna put a barrel on one side, crafting bench on another. I'm gonna grab a bed. You can put any color bed here. I'm gonna go with the red one. Let's go with a lantern for one side, and then I'm also gonna grab a flower pot and any flower. I'm gonna put a lantern over here, a flower pot on this side, flower right there. Then for more storage, I'm just gonna go with a couple rows of barrels on the top. Then here, I'm gonna grab our slab. I'm gonna put a slab on this side, slab on this side, trap door in the middle. We have a little section over here for extra storage. Over here on this end, we're gonna knock down one, two, and three right here. Then on this corner, we're gonna grab our furnace. I'm gonna go with one furnace, two, then I'm going to take this one as well. Let's grab a stair. I'm going to grab a cobble stair and go with a little upside down right there. On the top, I'm just going to put a little light right on that spot. Over here, we're going to have like a little bit of a kitchen corner. I'm going to put our cauldron on one side. Let's grab a barrel, put that on this end. And over here, we can bring a crafting bench and just make that look pretty cool. Uh, over here, I'm going to go with more of the barrels. Give the same look. Go with the upside downs uh, or um, slabs on top. And then our trap door in the middle. Over here, you can really pretty much put anything. I'm gonna go with a flower on one side. And you know what, let's put some sea pickles. Why not? Let's put a little sea pickle action on this side. You can also put a cake. That'll also be pretty cool. Now over here, I wanna do a little bit of a divider. Let's go with an upside down spruce stair here. I'm gonna put a placeholder and another one over here upside down. So we have this little uh, section. And then here, I'm gonna put a seat, a little small seat right here. Let's put two slabs like so. And then I'm gonna grab some signs and I'm gonna put one here and then one over here. So we have a little seat area right there. We can have, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Uh, then on top of this one, I'm gonna grab a cake uh, and let's just throw a cake on one side and maybe a pressure plate on the other to look like a, you know, a small plate right on the top. Like so, small kitchen. All right, now let's work on the front. Over here, I'm gonna put an upside down stair of our spruce. I'm gonna put a slab here in the corner and then I'm gonna throw a full block there at the end. Let's drop a bookshelf over here, a composter right there. I'm gonna grab a bush, you can grab any one. I'm gonna go with a regular oak and go up one and two. Then up here, more barrels on the top. Let's go one, two, oop, two, and three. And let's actually turn this corner, another one and two, just like that. Then on the bottom end, we're gonna do pretty much what we did on these corners. Let's go with slabs in between, and then our trap door in this side and in this side, just like that. Over here, let's put a light on one corner. Let's go with another flower pot. Let's go with dual flower pots, one on each side. Uh, and you know, just fill them with any kind of plant or flower you like. And now for the last bit of detail, let's grab some carpet. I'm gonna put a little two by two over here. Let's drop our door. Uh, we can also add some paintings around this end, maybe one on this side and maybe one right there on the other end. Now for the last bit of detail on the exterior, I wanna add a couple trap doors here of our oak on the sides here. Let's go with two and two. 
two and two on this side. I also want to add some flower boxes here. Let's go right in the center, just like so. A simple grass block, or it could be a dirt block. And then just surround these, just like so, with our trap doors underneath here. I want to grab the slab just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And let's go ahead and repeat that on this side. You could put any flower, but I'm gonna go with the berry bush actually. Uh, let's also do it over here on this side. So we're gonna add our oak trap doors on each end, the flower box in the middle, the sweet berries on top, and then surround this in our trap doors around the top and the slab on the bottom, just like so. And there it is. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this build. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more of these build styles in the future. This ultimate starter survival house is so much fun to make. I can make a bunch of these in different sizes, different variations, different color palettes. Let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see more of this style. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.